Hello and welcome. Uh, today we'll be working with derivatives. This is mostly Calculus 1 stuff. Um, today we'll be focusing mainly on the power rule. And uh, if you look up at the top, that's the formula, general formula for the power rule there. So the formula reads ddx of x to the n equals n times x to the n minus 1. And if that seems a bit confusing, I'll get into that a little bit more. So what this basically means is uh, you take the derivative of x to the n is shown right here. So once you take the derivative, the, uh, the right side of the formula tells you the outcome, which is you'd get n times x to the n minus 1. And this works for any formula that you'd be able to plug in in the form x to the n, as long as x is a variable and n is a constant. You have to keep that in mind. Let's take a look at this formula to see if we can get a better understanding of what's going on here. So you have x to the n, as we start out with at the top. You take x, multiply it by n, and then make the exponent, the original n, minus 1. So let's take a look at another simple example. Right here we have 3x squared, and we want to find the derivative of 3x squared using the formula that we learned above. So we take x, write that out first. Now we multiply by n, which in this case is 2, keeping in mind that there's a constant here. So we multiply 3 by 2, which equals 6, and now we move on to our second step, which is making the exponent n minus 1, so 2 minus 1. Simplifying, we have a final answer of 6x. Now we have a bit of a longer example, which is f of x equals 5 minus 2x squared minus 3x cubed. We want to find the derivative of that. So we'll write that out as f prime of x. And all that means is that we're going to be writing out the derivative at this point. So equals, and we'll write this out, we'll do this step by step. So the derivative of 5 is 0. The general shortcut for how you get there is that if you see a constant, the derivative is always 0. So a better explanation could be shown through an example. So if you have a constant, what that could also be written as is um, the constant times the variable to the 0. So 5x to the power of 0. Because if you see here, x to the power of 0 is just 1. 5 times 1 is just 5. And that's just another way of writing it out to show this uh, example through the formula that we learned earlier. So we have x times n, which in this case is 0. So x times 0 times 5. Anything times 0 is 0. So moving on to our next example, if you want to try to solve this for yourself, you can pause the video and come back when you're done. Um, this one might seem a bit tougher because it's a fraction, but if you can recognize what's going on here with a bit of algebra, you can simplify it to um, something that we've seen before and solve for that. So if you notice, you can cross out an x from each of the polynomials in the numerator, which brings them down one exponent. And now you're left with a much simpler formula, which is just 2x plus 3x, uh, 2x squared, sorry, plus 3x plus 2. And uh, this is a lot like what we've seen before. We could just solve for that pretty quickly. So first is 4x plus, next, 3 plus 0, because remember, 2 is a constant. That becomes 0. Finally, simplifying, we have 4x plus 3 as our final answer. Now on to a bit of a different one. This one is a fraction, which is a bit different from what we've seen before. You can't just cross out an x, simplify it. But if you notice um, from pre-calculus, you probably remember from pre-calculus, that this can also be written as 3 times x to the negative 7. From this point, we can just use our handy power rule formula, and we'd be left with negative 21 times x to the negative 7 minus 1, which can just be simplified to negative 8.